Okay, I think we are live. Um, well, thanks everybody for having me here. I am stuffing things. I am joined on commentary by my good friend Squidman. Hi everybody, I'm Squidman. And uh, we're going to do a run of Mega Man 2. We're going to do it Buster only. Uh, we are going to have to use some items every once in a while because you can't get through Wily stages without some items. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to do when I start this run, I'm going to try the fast strats in air, and then if that goes south, I'll do a quick reset and then I'll use some safety strats. But we're going to try. We're going to try to go fast. So I think I'm pretty much ready. So I'm going to go in three, two, one. That's okay. Hey, we got through that part. Nice. You fall in a pit. So yeah, I was purposely not talking during that part, <laughs> but that is nerve-wracking. So the thing with Buster only is that it really doesn't matter in what order you do the Robot Masters. But most runners of Buster only categories decide to put the hardest stages first, and air is definitely one of those stages. I didn't know if I was going to make that. <laughs> I paused buffer just yeah. to make sure nothing goes wrong. So, so what Stuff and Things did there was he just um, quickly opened the menu and closed the menu. Mega Man 2 has this wonderful feature where, uh, and I put feature in quotes, where if you pause the game, um, or open the pause menu, it actually um, resets your uh, fall velocity. Um, and so you can kind of hover in this game. Okay, so we're doing like medium fast strats here. We got that opening section, the, the that other section with the other spike heads. I decided to just take some damage, but it's not that much, so we're doing okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, Seven Things is playing on um, normal difficulty, and uh, that is a feature of the US version of Mega Man 2. Uh, the Japanese version does not have a difficulty setting, and it is uh, the, quote, difficult setting. And we're out of air. Yay! <laughs> yeah, pretty nice fight. All right. And so what's coming up next is um, uh, something is going to go to Crash Man stage. Uh, this has been routed in earlier now in the Buster-only routing because of a... Faster Buster only zip uh, to get us through the elevator room in Crashman stage. Normally, you'd be seeing these elevator rooms um, in a Buster only run uh, or even a zipless run. Um, but uh, it, since this zip was discovered, actually, we we're just going to skip all of that. So, yeah. stuff and things is going to have to get a very specific pixel uh, to be on, and uh, and hopefully he gets that first try, and we'll see a really awesome zip. Shout out to Warm Cabin and Kami Senen. Uh, I know they put a lot of time into working out how to set up this zip and how to make it practical. I just steal strats. I don't come up with them. It might be too high. Nope. First try. Nice. We no. got it. <laughs> What happened there was that stuff uh, went to a very specific pixel on the ladder and dropped off the ladder and his fall velocity put him um, on the screen transition below him into a, a that pipe. And that um, actually forced him into uh, uh, the wall. And so what happens in this game is when you kind of zip through the wall here, the game actually kind of puts you a screen ahead uh, then where it, uh, you actually can see, and so he was he was a screen ahead there, and the reason why he spawned at the halfway point here is because what he ended up doing was he he basically walked linearly through all of those elevator rooms, and uh, he went down a ladder on the screen. You couldn't see it, but he went down a ladder, and by going down that ladder, he actually um, because there was no screen below him due to the zip. Uh, the game thinks that he fell into a pit, and that pit happened to be on the checkpoint screen, and so he immediately respawned on the checkpoint screen. Now, that entire zip 
uh, actually saves about 30, 30 to 32 seconds over doing uh, the elevator rooms buster only. Uh, so it is a significant time save, and you want to get that save. Yeah, I'm really excited that I got to show that zip, because it's relatively new um, in a Buster-only setting. Um, and yeah, we're, we're still going strong, so this is really good here. Yeah, it was really good zip. Um, I actually showed the zip off as well in the 46 Robots um, uh, run that I did uh, uh, last month. Um, so yeah, it, it's a really cool zip. I'm really glad that it was found. Um, it makes this pretty interesting. Otherwise, Crash Stage is really just a pain. Okay. All right, now for the next terrifying stage, there's a lot of little details in metal when you're doing it buster only. damage on some of these on purpose in a very specific way so yeah get through oh i almost died up. so what close. happened there is is Mega Man uh 2 kind of um when there's a lot of uh, things on the screen it can kind of extend your iframes there and so uh stuff and things was just abusing that to get past those crushers really fast um, normally you'd have to wait for those things to come down and go through them, that's how they intended you to do that. But with Buster Only, um, oh and of course, you could also use Flash Stopper or, um, to, to get um, past all of that. Um, or Time Stopper actually, I should respect the lore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, unfortunately, since it's Buster Only, you can't do that. So that is the fastest way we can get through that section, is just damage boosting a couple of those uh, spike chandeliers. Ooh, healthy. Uh, okay, well... Health, hey, health. look! Oh, more health! All right, maximum health. The game knew that you were doing a marathon, and... Yeah, uh, it just wants uh, me to be safe. Yeah, it was just doing marathon safe uh, health drops. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, Metal Man can be a little bit of a pain too because yeah, he's it's random me. whether. He yeah, it's, it's random whether he's ah, jumping a I was... large jump or a small jump. You kind of want him to do small jumps so you can just keep pumping buster shots into him. Because obviously you can't reach him when he's up high. Ah. That's okay. Yes, uh, Looking Toad is correct. The Flash Stopper here is actually a Mega Man 4 weapon. Uh, what we get in this game uh, from Flashman is actually called Time Stop. Now, Heat Man is a really fun stage, um, Buster Only. You get to uh, experience all of the stages, all of its glory. Um, <laughs> and when I when I uh, uh, talk about that, I mean the second half of the stage where uh, Yoku blocks about. That jump is always scary. The last tin can there. I'm I've died a million times, but still. I'm surprised you didn't Buster that tin can. Okay, so now we're going to do some mini zips on some of these pillars coming up. I have yeah, to A-trigger are... them just right. Yeah, I was about to say, these are what are known as A-trigger zips. Um, and the reason why they're called A-trigger zips is because you use the A button. Ah, oh, and see, that can happen. Ooh. So you use the jump button in order to Dang. trigger the zip. And there's actually a, a, a frame window in which you can do the zip. Um, you can't trigger it too fast, um, otherwise it doesn't work and you get popped out like stuff uh, just what just happened to stuff and you can't trigger it too late because of the same reason oh my gosh okay uh, i'm gonna have to go safe and we're gonna game over right there <laughs> that's sad a triggers are killing me i got through all the other stuff and now we're dying to a triggers <laughs> that's okay Who 
doesn't like to listen to this amazing music? Yeah, we'll get the music again. A second time. Nice. Alright. Yoku's round two. Alright. little safety there just to make sure nothing goes wrong and this is the other part I was talking about this um, whole section here with Yoku's is normally we just skip this with item 2 um, if you're doing like say zipless although the 80% route does do um, uh, heat first I believe so or it, is it heat first or heat second it is heat second probably I think it's second. Um, you don't get yeah you don't get item 2 in that route um, so uh, yeah you still end up doing Yoku but, uh, you know, casually, I think a lot of people ended up using item 2 when they played this game for the first time. So you just get over that section. No, unfortunately, there will be no good wood in this seed. And the wood <laughs> stage will only have one tiny little zip. Moving on. We do get a nice long weapon get here. Yeah, and so this is the downside of playing on the American, the US version of um, uh, Mega Man 2, is that the weapon get screens are exceedingly long. <laughs> Do the bubble zip. Yes, so we're gonna we're gonna see a Buster only zip here. So back to what I said before, an air stage. Um, you can pause the game by using the menu, and that will reset your fall velocity. Um, Stuff and things is gonna take advantage of this in a couple of the screens uh, to put Mega Man into a ceiling, and and he will be able to zip across an entire really. Um, slow section of Bubble Man stage. All right. Nicely done. So one of the reasons why this section is so slow is because in Mega Man 2, um, when you are underwater, uh, the uh, the game, uh, I believe, only goes at about three-quarter speed. Um, so not only are you slowly walking through this section, but you're walking through the section even slower than <laughs> you would normally be able to. One of my favorite things about uh, watching a BO run and doing BO runs is that um, it's not interrupted by any pesky menus. You get un uninterrupted stage music, uninterrupted uh, gameplay. I think it's a fun change of pace. So I I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, second what Cove said. Another nice fight. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Okay, yeah, that was decent. Alright, there's a lot that can happen in wood stage as well. <laughs> We've got to dodge the hot dogs and hopefully take no damage off of them. And then we have the treehouse with the monkeys, which no one ever sees because they zip past it. 
yeah, in in any percent, you will do good wood, and you will never see that part of the, the stage. And in um, Zipless, you actually ride item two across that uh, section, so you never have to deal with it. Buster only is a different. You're right. Uh, you're right. He did menu about six or seven times. That's about the only time yeah. you're gonna see that. <laughs> also, it's only really true of Mega Man Two. These hot dogs would be very dangerous. Um, they do quite a bit of damage. And the checkpoint is actually after all three of them, so you could easily um, get pretty low on health or even die before getting to the checkpoint. It's a huge time loss. Alright, let's get some monkeys. There's some health for me. I do want that since I took some hot dog damage earlier. Well, I didn't get a single monkey. That's kind of sad. Is, you is have that to a hit damage? Him, you have to hit them twice, the monkeys. And you can hit them twice before they hit you, but it's pretty tight. Is uh, is hot dog damage a damage type? I'm not familiar with that. Oh, you didn't know about that? <laughs> uh, next time I make a DMD &D character, I'm going to make a wizard that exclusively does hot dog damage. <laughs> nice. I agree, Waiter. I think that Woodman soundtrack is pretty underrated. That's a great song. Now, like in many Mega Man games, shields don't actually matter at all. <laughs> um, you can just fire right through. So Stuff and Things took full advantage of that and just blustered his way through that shield. Okay. That was a good wood. It was decent. I would have liked a couple monkeys, but they're tough. Quick Man Stage is a lot of fun, Buster Only too. You uh, don't get to use Flash Stop, or Time Stopper, rather, and you don't get to zip, so we're gonna go through and see all the lasers. Yeah, we see all the lasers, we do a lot of running. <laughs> Stuff and Things is uh, doing these little jumps off the sides of these platforms. Um, that's actually uh, because um, he's, he's getting Mega Man to fall faster off these ledges. Uh, if you just walk off the ledge, you're going to be uh, starting your fall at a um, slower velocity than if you uh, start your jump earlier and then kind of um, uh, fall into the pit. And so you save a few frames every time you're doing that. We don't have time for Joe Max. We just damage. <laughs> just run. It's just surprising how many Mega Man games just, uh, you know, damage boosting is a, is a thing all the way through. Okay. From Quick Man, we want to see his middle jump pattern, not the low one. That's the middle. That's great. Thanks, dude. And that's a great fight. I, I think this might be the only time I've seen the game cooperate with a marathon. This is amazing. <laughs> Weird. Besides the A-triggers, we don't talk about those. Yeah, but those are weird voodoo. All right, and now, of course, because it's Buster only, uh, and the order of the stages don't matter, we put the easy stages up uh, at, at, at last, and that means flash stages will be last. Okay, we'll 
Why not? This is the stage, since it is really simple and it's just, even the movement isn't that complicated. This is the, the stage where you like really focus on saving every single frame. <laughs> right, and it's actually, it's crazy. You skip so much of the stage that the, <laughs> the creators of this really put in. <laughs> it's It almost feels sad that you aren't doing any of the other paths. It's yeah. a complicated maze up there and you're just like, nope, I'm going to fall straight down. Yeah, there's all these other cool ways to go and you never see them. Nice. Now the flash fight is pretty cool if uh, you get the quick fight out of it. I got the backup. I missed my second bullet, so. But it's 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 still fast. But it's nice to land every shot just all in a row. All right, eight robos down. Yes, sir. So now we get to go to the Wily stages. As Stuff and Things said before, uh, we can't actually get through all the Wily stages without using some items. So unfortunately, there will be some item usage here. But rest assured, we'll be going to back, back to Buster as soon as we are able. I agree with KLM. I think Six actually has a very underrated soundtrack. I really enjoy Mega Man. Mega Man 2 has got a great soundtrack, though. It's it's fantastic. I don't know about that, Mr. Stone, though. I think Mega Man 4 might have the best uh, Wily capsule fight theme. I don't know. Hey, here comes the hype music. Yes. This is what we've all been waiting for. I'm just going to let everybody listen to this. So stuff did switch the item there. We can't get over this without an item. There's one more place where you have to use item one um, in this stage, and then we're, we're home free for this stage. Don't say that. How's the song go? What's the lyric? Uh, I believe the, the song in this stage is uh, Gonna Die to the Dragon, Gonna Die to the Dragon. I'll, I'll sing it, I'll sing it when it, when it cycles. Gonna die to dragon, gonna die to dragon, again and gonna die to dragon, again and again, gonna die to dragon, until I game over. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, shout out to Kame Senen, uh, that's a good sign. <laughs> song. And then my thing to do there, since I'm not singing, is you have to play Musical Buster when you come off the ladder and go across the, the flat part. If you don't do that, the run's not valid. A good Wily one. Alright, and then Wily 2 gets some item 2 usage, I believe. Two and three. Yeah. So we take the bottom route here because the top route obviously would have to use more items to get uh, past it. So kind of have to use the bottom route. And then there's this screen coming up that normally you just use like flash stopper or time stopper to get yeah. through. Yeah, we gotta do some fancy buster in here. 
and then stuff is going to take a lot of damage coming up. To get past these chandeliers as efficiently as possible, we end up taking just a lot of damage on them. And I mean a lot. <laughs> he cannot take a hit from the boss. The great thing about Pico is that uh, it's a set pattern. So even though he's only got four health here, it actually wasn't too bad. Like, it's very predictable. But of course, going into it, you said he cannot take a hit. So what am I thinking of the entire time? <laughs> don't, don't take a hit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't believe in curses. <laughs> it's a good thing Bob's not here. <laughs> Bob curse. Oh, just wait until next week. Yeah. <laughs> so in this uh, stage, um, we get like these fish that are on this really brown water that I'm not going to kind of speculate as to what it is. Um, they cause lag. And so we want to see none of those. We got one. Um, we got one. Uh, maximum you can get is two, I believe. And, yeah. you know, you could get zero. And then the spike fall. Classic Mega Man spike fall. That used to be like the scariest part when you were a kid. Oh, this entire game was the scariest part <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't get hit. Oh, and I got hit by that guy because I'm dumb. I was too excited uh, for not getting hit. <laughs> it's it's Rust. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, sure, it's Rust. Rust, yes. Ooh, pretty good fight. I think one of the great things about this game is that most of the stuff bosses are busterable, <laughs> except the one that we all hate. So here we are in Wily 4, uh, probably the hardest and scariest stage in the run. Um, it is a complicated mess. Extra life. Uh, lots, <laughs> lots. <laughs> that is very helpful. Um, lots of ladder climbing. Um, lots of spiky rooms. Uh, lots of elevator rooms, and a boss that is not busterable. So um, uh, we have to actually use uh, special weapons here. The thing about the boss fight, though, you'll see coming up is that uh, we can't use any items, though. Item 1, 2, or 3 are not allowed uh, in the boss fight, so uh, we have to be very careful about how we're using, using uh, the Crash uh, Bomb, which is the weakness of uh, this boss coming up. Uh, this boss called, is called Boo Beam Trap. We have to be very careful about our usage of Crash, uh, because Crash Bombs, um, they both destroy the walls, Ooh, that's okay. and uh, that, that the boss is behind, and they are the boss's weakness. So here we're in the uh, the scary rooms. <laughs> yeah, Wily Four is where good runs go to die. It, it, it's true for all categories, honestly. So we have to wait here because because you got to do again, it Buster only. Got to do it Buster only, <laughs> exactly. And then we're gonna take advantage of that pause uh, menu once again. I know, Cove, I know. He used the pause menu again. <laughs> Fishing for some extra health since I took a hit that I didn't want to take. Maybe I won't get any. Nope. So now I can't do the damage transfer because I took that extra hit.
It was a preemptive. We snuck it in there. Very nice. Wow, that was Ooh. tight. <laughs> that was tight. That was a little so, scary. <laughs> as you can see, Stuff and Things has no more Crash Bomb. That is exact ammo. Uh, what, stuff was, what Stuff was referring to earlier was a, called the damage transfer. Um, uh, Mega Man uh, 2 is kind of weird with how Crash Bombs work. The radius of that explosion in the Crash Bomb can be manipulated. And so he could actually have killed two Boobies with one Crash Bomb doing a certain glitch, um, but I won't go into that. Beat Man ha is funny because he's got, um, every time you hit him, he can pause for 30, 60, or 90 frames, uh, and that's random. And so, <laughs> of course we want him to pause for only 30 frames, because that wastes less time. I went damage list, that's good. That was a really nice Woodman fight. Refight, I should say. Didn't and of, cor of course, Bubble Man throws out three bubbles, the laggiest yep. of patterns. Oh, uh, would you come back here? <laughs> <laughs> This is the refight that I hate the most, because Crash Man acts differently in this fight versus the one where he's in his stage. He starts in a different way, and it's a little more difficult. I just grab yeah, I've never quite I'll figured out why his good. pattern is different in the refights than it is it's in weird. the... It's um, weird. And it's actually very apparent in the randomizer. Um, Crash Man acts so much differently. You can really tell how differently he acts in the randomizer um, versus uh, the... Uh, yeah. Versus this. Thankfully, the machine is busterable. The machine does do a lot of damage, though. Yeah, just don't hit it. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just don't get hit by it. No hugs. All right, and we are coming up to Wily Six. Those wow. were pretty good refights on my on my splits. So I'm pretty happy with that. So this is um this is the uh, uh, last uh, stage in the game, Wily Six. Oh, uh, nobody look here. here. And, and we're still on is, we're still on Buster. It's just the gray Buster. Yeah, it's a very gray, bubbly looking Buster. <laughs> uh, Buster just got really big shots now. Um, so yes, unfortunately, this is the other boss in the game that is not busterable, the al wild alien. Spoiler alert. Hopefully we can get the quick kill. Adam. Very nice. Nice. Right. All right. There we go. And that is Mega Man 2 Buster only. <laughs> Buster mostly. <laughs> it's as it's as Buster as we can make it. <laughs> and did you guys know that it was Wily the whole time? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Those spoilers. Well, there we go. We'll let Mega Man stroll home. Um, I just want to say thanks to everybody for having me here. That was fun. 
If only I could A trigger, that would have been really pretty, pretty nice, but it was fun. Uh, um, thanks everybody, um, doing Retrothon for having me here. Thanks, uh, Cove for getting me connected a little bit. And thank you very much, Squidman, for doing commentary with me. Yeah, it was a pleasure to be here. I always love commentating Mega Man games. I, this is my bread and butter, so I'm glad to have been, uh, been uh, I'm glad to have been able to commentate this with you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I think with that, I think we'll uh, sign off, and we'll see you guys later. Thanks, everyone. Bye.